Hello guys, Rory here from Your Golf Travel. It's been a while since me, Mark and Matt have been overseas, but today we've come to just the right golf course because with the Ryder Cup just around the corner, we're in Rome. 2023 venue, Marco Simone Golf Club. We're gonna take you around this amazing golf course. They've completely redone this place since last time I was here. I played it about four or five years ago and they basically dug everything up, redid the entire length and breadth of the golf course. So I'm really excited to see what it's gonna offer Europe's best players in two years time. Um, they've just had the Italian Open here in the European Tour, so obviously the course is already in condition to be hosting top class golf. And yeah, with the Ryder Cup literally days away, more on that throughout this video as well. <sighs> I can't wait to get stuck in. Ooh, did I just steal Mark's line? Sorry, Mark. Welcome, Matthew. Hello. Right, Raymondos. Grayus in the house. I'm here. <laughs> oh, oh, the pole. This is where the fun really begins now. Watch this. <laughs> Thank me on the right, please. Oh, Ray. Oh, Good Ray. Drive, sir. Driced it. Marco Simone did. Right, so first impressions of the golf course here on the second hole as Mark plays his approach up there behind me. Stadium, mounding, uh, open, built for fans. Sounds a lot like another golf course that recently hosted the Ryder Cup in Europe. See, it's me, two, two holes in. This is reminiscent of those purpose-built Ryder Cup courses that we've seen in Europe in recent years. We're talking 2010, Celtic Manor, back in 2010, obviously. Um, and the Golf National in Paris. I would say that this golf course is a little bit prettier. It's got a little bit more Italy loveliness to it. With these gorgeous pine trees kind of lining some of the mounds that line the fairways. And yeah, speaking of the mounds, on top of that, in reference to these other golf courses that we're talking about, You've got dramatic bunkering, you've got slopes, you've got a bit more elevation change in slopes here. We're out in the Roman hills just outside of the capital city of Italy. You've got dramatic runoffs off these big slopey greens. So a lot of common factors that we're seeing on these golf courses. And I do think, obviously we're gonna see more and more as we go around the course, that this is gonna be a fantastic golf course, not only for the players, but particularly for spectators coming to Rome in 2023. <laughs> So guys, two questions about the Ryder Cup teams that were announced a few days ago. First off, correct me if I'm wrong, but I understand, or I think I understand, that each captain basically selects how many wild cards they're gonna get within reason. I'm sure they have a few options to pick from. Team Europe went for three wild cards. Team USA went for six on this occasion. Is that fair? Should teams not be following the same rules? Or are we saying that the captains have done it strategically? And what do we think of that kind of situation? Would you rather both teams be limited to the same number of wild cards? Or do you like the fact that they can take their own strategy and try and make it work at the Ryder Cup? Question number two, what do you think of the wild cards? So what the European wild cards being Ian Poulter, Sergio Garcia and Shane Lowry. I think you could argue that Justin Rose was unlucky to miss out, but it's also hard to argue against any of those three guys. What do you think about Team Europe? Is there any glaring omissions? Would you sub out one of those guys for the likes of Justin Rose? Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. Team European wild cards. And next up, Team USA with six. This is big. So Jordan Spieth, Tony Fina, Daniel Berger, Xander, Sch Xander Schauffele, Harris Inglis and Scotty Scheffler. Uh, I personally think that Steve Stricker has kind of gone for the tactic of choosing the guys with the most unusual names. <laughs> nope, only joking, he's obviously got some class golfers in there, Xander Schauffele, big time major player, always seems to be there or thereabouts at events like the Masters. Obviously Jordan Spieth with his history. Uh, Tony Finau's done really well in majors as well, so 
Yeah, I don't know what your thoughts on that. Are there any USA players that you think were harshly left out? Would you sub any in or out if you were Steve Stricker? Let us know your thoughts. What do you think about the three versus six wildcard thing? And what do you think of the wildcard picks themselves? Jump into the comments section and join in the Ryder Cup chat. So walking up onto the par 3 seventh green here and you'll see a great example of some of the course features I mentioned early on in the video, i.e. a massive and very very slopey green and also these wicked drop off areas that you're starting to see at these tournament courses. Walking up here unfortunately the camera is going to flatten out slightly, you've got a huge hump coming over and then running back down to this back portion of the green. You put the pin here and it's entirely different golf hole that it is today where the pin is cut on the front. Um, as you can see when I spin the camera around, the boys have missed just right and they're in this wicked drop off area and a similar kind of slope that we're seeing here kind of affecting their chip shots running down towards the pin and if you miss the screen to the left you've got again massive drop offs through some thick roughs so you might stop but water lurking left and even though it's only 155 yards today this part three is stroking x5 this gives you an op opportunity to see just how precise you have to be with your iron play around this course depending on where they put those pins with those wicked slopes in play <laughs> So the next question is, have you guys ever played a Ryder Cup golf course? Whack in comments down below. How many? Which ones? Did you like them? Which one's your favourite? Which one do you like to play if you haven't done so already? I think in Europe especially, and obviously I can't count this one because it hasn't hosted the Ryder Cup yet, another two years until that happens, but I think I've done every single Ryder Cup course except Ballarama in Europe, way back since like the 81 ride. No, because I've played Walton Heath as well, so I'd probably have to go a long way back, maybe to, I don't know, the 70s to find a golf course in Europe that's hosted the Ryder Cup that I haven't played. So I've been really lucky, really enjoy. <laughs> I really enjoy courses like the Belfry Celtic Manor, Glen Eagles. Um, Le Golf National, all wicked venues and definitely courses that if you're into your Ryder Cup history, if you want to go and experience a Ryder Cup, definitely be checking those golf courses out in Europe. I still haven't counted up how many American courses I have played because there are a couple that are just a little bit more difficult to think of. So maybe I'll get back to you on that later. So if you miss some, some fairways by enough, the rough's quite thick. But to be fair, for the most part, it's kind of wispy. It's really good looking as well. It's really like golden brown at this time of year. We're here in the middle of September. It was 28 degrees today, so it gives you an idea of the temperature Rome can hit even later in the year when in England it's kind of starting to dip a little bit. So definitely some summerish golf still on offer late into the year in Rome. And, and yeah, the look of the golf course with that amazingly pristine fairways and gorgeous greens and this amazing golden wispy rough, really defined, really dramatic, and yeah, loving Marco Simone so far. So I'm in my pocket again, unfortunately. Some really fun games going on today uh, over on Mark Crossell's channel, obviously the full vlogs over there. No spoilers on these videos, unfortunately. Um, we're playing three-way match play. So I'm playing a match against Mark and against Matt at the same time. Matt's playing against Mark and myself, Mark against me. And Matt says three different match play scores buzzing around. Two separate goings of that on the front nine today and on the back nine now where we are. And yeah, some really funny golf being played. Some good golf, but some funny golf. Definitely check out the vlogs on Mark's channel if you want to see more of Marco Simone and what the players might be facing at the 2023 Ryder Cup. I mean, you know, good players, not players like, uh, like proper players. Love does that for you. It does. Well, <laughs> it really 
does. <laughs> the law, the law. <laughs> Oh, he did it, yes, as well. And I think after doing a little count up in my head, I'm on three Ryder Cup courses that I played in America. Uh, Kew Island Ocean Course, one of my favourites in the world. The 1991 Ryder Cup. The war on the shore, in my mind, where the Ryder Cup really turned into the boisterous, kind of loud, crazy, energetic event it is today. Um, PJ National in Florida. PJ National in Florida, which I think hosted the Ryder Cup quite a long time ago. And Pinehurst, which I believe was more of a historic Ryder Cup as well. So three for me in America, quite a few in Europe. As I said earlier in the video, have you played a Ryder Cup golf course? Let me know in the comments section which one was your favourite. And if you haven't, which one would you most like to play? Not just from my list, but have a little Google Ryder Cup post course and tell me which one you want to play the most. Obviously at the 2023, Marcus Moni is going to be the focus of golf in Italy. Obviously, golf in the world really. And uh, But if you think about it, it isn't just the fact that you can come and watch the Ryder Cup here. It's the fact that Rome is home to quite a few other decent golf courses, which can all be packaged up to kind of combine a few days at the Ryder Cup with playing some of your own golf. And of course, in a country like Italy, with Rome just down the road, there's so much more on offer for golfers visiting this country in 2023. But more on that later. Right. Oh yeah. <laughs> Look at him admiring it. Oh, he's blown it. Oh, my God. <laughs> so this is a dramatic and very pronounced example of the kind of runoffs you get here at Marcus Simone. I'll come up short on this par forward in a second. Not a good shot. You'll see the full footage on Mark's channel. And if I just land this like a yard short of the green, I'm rolling all the way down this massive hill. Got a similarly difficult shot for my fourth shot. So if they get the pins tucked in some funny sneaky little places during that 2023 Ryder Cup, you're gonna see some of that golf we love so much at that tournament. Some real life on the knife edge. Some players will hit a great shot, which the course will kind of feed it down to the hole. Others will hit a very similar shot, but just get it slightly wrong and be really severely punished. So definitely one of the features of the course here that's gonna make for an exciting game at the Ryder Cup, but something that you guys need to watch out for as well. If you're coming from a golf holiday in Rome. I think they call that a hotel room view. All right, morning gentlemen. Um, morning. Morn day two of the Italy tour. Rome kind of done, ticked. We're heading to Tuscany today, but thoughts on Marco Simone, 2023 Ryder Cup host that we played yesterday? Yeah, I loved good. it. Yeah, really good. Thought it's a uh, good stadium course, so Banksy was side, so it's going to be great for spectating. Um, good condition, wasn't it? Fair Coming on, isn't it? Yeah. I mean, they were talking to us about what they had done to the fairways, because, I mean, they've just redone that course. Yeah. And the back nine was older than the front nine, and the front nine, the fairways were pure, but the back nine were ridiculous, weren't they? How good they were. Greens as well. At a European Tour event last week, from when we're here, yeah. the pros said it was some of the best greens they'd played on, and you can see what. Yeah, quick, big, slopey. Pure ass yeah. as well. Yeah. Just so it's going to be some fun matches, I reckon. Bit A few water balls. Yeah, bit <laughs> of bombing up par five yeah. and stuff. It's yeah. going to be good. And I, think, I, I don't think it would challenge score, but that's the beauty of match play. You want match play to be birdie, wind, yeah. and all stuff. Our games are birdies and <laughs> everywhere. Par fives to finish oh, on, like nine on and on 18. Too, and so. Not much in there. <laughs> yeah. So as well as obviously being able to attend uh, the Ryder Cup 2023, obviously before and after then people can come play the course, but then pair it with this. Yeah. Um, I remember years ago I asked you guys what what would be what would make your best golf holiday if you did stuff away from the course. And Mark, you actually said combining it with a city break. And yeah. I know that you love Rome, so talk talk to the guys about the hotel we're staying in, what they can do away from the golf course. Yeah, absolutely. To, I mean, when you. Uh, it, to come to a place like this, for instance, and to, to watch the Ryder Cup, or to come and play before or after, and have Rome on your doorstep. I mean, Rome's one of the most pretty and most stunning cities in the world. It's one of my favourite cities. 
it, it's a perfect combination. And the course is what, 25 minutes drive from yeah, here? Yeah, mm -hmm. minutes, town yeah. is probably a 10 minute drive from here. Yeah. Um, you know, a cab into town and back is nothing. Um, it, it, it's very connected with the city, it felt. And we went to Le Golf National, yeah. which was connected with Paris, but it didn't feel cool. It was. It was a bit more distant, wasn't it? Yeah. Like it yeah. was a bit more of a trek. This and is I'm where sure the players are staying, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, yeah this yeah. is where the, the hotel the players yeah. are staying in. Yeah. You can see why. It's, yeah, it's beautiful. That's why they put us up here, because we yeah. are players. Players. <laughs> yeah. And potential picks. And the best view of the city. Yeah. It's not bad, is it? It's I mean, nice. waking up to that is. It doesn't really want to just travel in there, because I've never been into Rome. So It is, you have to do it. It's such a great place. <laughs> yeah. All right, boys, well, um, thank you very much, and off to Tuscany. Let's yeah. do it. Yeah guys, got in last night to the Rome Cavalieri Waldorf Astoria Hotel and I have to say this is one of the most luxurious hotels I've ever stayed in. We got in quite late, we were playing the last couple of holes at Marco Simoni, pretty much in the dark, uh, running a little bit behind schedule after getting a little bit hung up at Rome Airport. But we had an amazing dinner at about 9 o'clock, the food was absolutely fantastic. And basically this hotel kind of sums up everything that's on offer away from the golf course on a Rome golf tour. So you've got, obviously anywhere in Italy, you've got incredible food. You've got Rome City just on the doorstep. The view I just showed you, literally you can see all of the highlights of Rome. The Colosseum, the Forum, all of the amazing history and architecture that the Eternal City is famous for. So, what do you get if you come to, let's say, the 2023 Ryder Cup or just a Rome golf holiday? You get luxury, you get style, you get incredible food, you get culture right on your doorstep. And of course, you get championship golf as well. Uh, right now, we're heading to Tuscany later today. So, thank you very much for watching the video so far, or the tour so far. I'm going to pop downstairs and have breakfast with the boys now. But it's been a very brief but very amazing stay here at the Wall of Astoria. Wish we could have stayed longer. But we've got an amazing golf course lined up for later today. So, make sure you subscribe to your golf travel channel if you haven't already and you want to catch the rest of the action from Italy. Uh, post some comments down below as I said earlier in the video talking about wildcard picks, ride cut courses you've played, any questions you have about a Rome golf holiday pop them in the comment section or email me at raymondo at yourgolftravel.com. You know the drill by now and we'll see you later on in Tuscany. Thanks for watching.